Hey, Rusty here, and welcome to the 90-second tutorial series for game creation using your phone. In this episode, you'll be learning the basic features of the Pocket Code game engine. To start a project, press the yellow plus in the bottom right, select the display orientation, and in your project screen you can add and edit game objects. Press the three dots in the top right to copy or delete existing objects. Click the yellow plus to add a new object and assign an image. You can create your own image, import an existing image, or use one of Pocket Code's extensive media asset sets. You can place the object visually or you can turn it off to place in the center screen. If visually, move the object to the desired location. Press the check when finished. There are three tabs in your object, scripts, images, and sounds. Press the yellow plus to add new items to each. Under the sounds tab, you can import your own, record new sounds, or use the Pocket Codes Media Library. The scripts tab holds all the programming for each object. Events are your starting points. Everything else goes underneath an event. An example would be when this happens, then run this code. Controls execute things like wait one second, end scene, or create a loop. Motion is all about the movement and physics of an object, as well as how it interacts with other objects. Sound allows you to add music, sound effects, and use the text as speech features on your phone. Looks changes how objects visually display on screen. Data allows you to add, change, save, and display variables. Example, player lives, scores, and high scores. Hey, thanks for watching. In the next few videos, we'll be teaching you how to make a game using Pocket Code and Pixel Studio.